like 6.20 a.m. and I'm just up getting ready for work. I just took my dog out. And um, in light of feeling like I didn't eat enough yesterday, um, I'm going to bring an extra meal or snack with me to work um, in case I get hungry in the afternoon. I usually don't eat until lunch. Um, I've been following intermittent fasting for quite a while now and I just, I just, I'm so used to it that I, I don't know, I just don't eat in the morning anymore. Um, so for lunch I'm going to have the rest of my leftover mash with the gravy on top and then uh, I'm bringing another snack or another meal of sweet potatoes and I'm going to bring a little bit of maple syrup and if I get hungry in the afternoon then I have that. I can just reheat it quickly in the microwave and it's there so I'll show you what that looks like. Here they are. It's three sweet potatoes that I've peeled and sliced and I've got my oven preheating to 375 and I'll cook that until they're soft, probably 20-30 minutes and then we should be good to go. Um, some of you may or may not be aware but I live in Canada, I live in British Columbia and um, uh, we've been thinking about moving to Alberta thinking that, you know, I'm a licensed practical nurse, I should not have any issue with finding a job. Um, so my husband found work with, uh, with a company there, and um, he went in June of last year to go start his job there, and we were supposed to follow soon thereafter. Um, I couldn't find a job, I guess, with the, uh, unfortunately with LPNs, our scope of practice is so different from province to province, unlike RNs where it's, you know, the same across Canada. For us, it's, it's really different. Um, so compared to what I, comparing what I do here to what, what I could do in Alberta, there's a huge difference. The LPNs, the licensed practical nurses in Alberta do way more than what we do here. So it's really hard for BC trained uh, licensed practical nurses to find work in Alberta and a lot of especially within the health authority they just don't want to hire you so that was my problem <clears throat> couldn't find a job so then we said okay screw that <laughs> and and then uh, my husband started looking for work again here in BC so that's been since June of last year so June, July, August, June, all of June, so June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. This is his ninth month of being in Alberta and not being here. Um, but anyway, he did find a job with the similar company, same, same, same type of work. <clears throat> and we found out yesterday that he will be starting his new job on the 15th of February. So very, very excited about that. I think in the last, you know, eight or nine months, I can probably count on one hand how many times I actually got to see him. So it's been tough. It's been really hard on our 10 year old son. It's been really hard on him. It's at times affected him in school and it'll just be nice to have our family back together. So really looking forward to that he's going to be coming home next week and he never has to leave again so very excited about that I couldn't be happier um, so I just wanted to share that good news and um, the other good thing about that is that he has already told me that he wants to start transitioning at least to vegetarian to begin with so that's really excellent because that was something that I did struggle with before before he left trying to transition um, to plant-based <clears throat> vegan was, you know, we were still cooking food that he would eat, so still cooking meat and other things. And uh, I had a really hard time with that, and, and I would often fall off the rails, uh, you know, back into eating food that I don't want to eat. Um, 
so it'll be nice knowing that he wants to come back and transition to vegetarian. Um, I'm not bothered by dairy at all, so having it in the house doesn't tempt me whatsoever. Even, uh, I, I know, I'm, I mean, I know now, considering how, how, how much I've been doing it, and I've been by myself, you know, for the last eight or nine months, <clears throat> and, you know, I can't even, I'm just so moved by what happens, you know, how our food is processed, or, you know, what we, what some would consider food, like animal products. Um, I can't even, there's, I, I wouldn't, I'm not worried about me having problems with, with staying plant-based or staying vegan. I have no worries about that at all because, you know, I feel like I'm totally transitioned now and I don't need those foods anymore. I, I don't even consider that to be food. Um, even just looking at, like, I can't even look at a piece of meat without seeing the animal. Like, I just can't, I automatically see that in my head. Um, so I definitely am no longer disassociated with the reality of, of where, where these things come from. I don't want to say our food because I, it's not our food. <clears throat> so that would be fun um, helping him to transition and showing him all of the the yummy yummy vegan food that uh, is out there and we're gonna have a lot of fun I know he said he uh, eventually would like to get rid of dairy and go completely vegan but you know I'll let him go on his own journey just like he let me go on my own journey so I will respect him for what he needs to do and what he feels comfortable with and if he you know doesn't want to give up the dairy or whatever I mean that's up to him that's that's his choice he hasn't watched any of the documentaries he has not wanted to watch any of the documentaries he's already kind of said that he knows that if he were to watch those documentaries that um it would force him to make a decision and for the longest time he wasn't ready for that so I don't know let's see I'll probably maybe start him off watching like forks over knives or vegetated not the really graphic ones and then maybe down the road if he's if he's kind of teetering and not sure what he wants to do then maybe I'll show him earthlings um, but for now I'll just show him the usual ones talking about health because um, I know that's a big concern for him. He's, he's you know, we're not getting any younger, so we need to really look after ourselves. And <clears throat> not saying anything bad about him, he's he's in good shape. I mean, he really doesn't have, he really doesn't have weight to lose. He needs to just tone up and maybe build muscle, but um, he's good. And, you know, we're going to really start cycling a lot more once he comes back as a family. And uh, so looking forward to some great things coming up for us. Uh, as a family in 2016 so I'll keep you guys all posted with that and I'll show you what we're doing um, but yeah so that's what I'm doing right now I haven't gotten Adrian up yet it's only 6 30 so I'll probably wait until you know closer to 7 before I wake him up for school and I'm just gonna get ready and and uh, figure out what I'm gonna give him for lunch today and then I will see you again after work. So have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Hey, everyone. So home from work. And um, I know earlier this morning I said that I brought some extra food with me to work today. But I ended up not being hungry in the afternoon. So um, after work, we went to... The dollar store because we are going to be making like a welcome home sign um, that we're going to put on the door when my husband comes home next week and uh, so I ended up eating my sweet potatoes at home when I got home I warmed them up and then I had them with the maple syrup um, and now I've just finished steaming off some potatoes in my instant pot 
And I did saute some kale, but it didn't turn out very good. So I ate only a little bit of that, and I didn't really like it. And then uh, I ate a whole, like a large, humongous yellow bell pepper. So I ate that. Now I'm going to eat the potatoes. I don't know what I'm going to put on them yet. Um, my potato stash is very low, so I'm going to have to go buy some more. I'll probably go tomorrow after work and, and get some more potatoes. Um... But other than that, it was a good day. Um, it's day 11 today. Wow. So doing well with the cleanse. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do the whole 30 days, but I'll wait until um, after my second week and, and see how things go. And I'll decide whether I want to continue on longer or not. Um, I'm kind of feeling like I want to eat other stuff. Um... So I'm not sure if it's because, you know, I'm ready to s stop the cleanse or if it's maybe I'm not eating enough or I need to reevaluate that. So I'm going to take the rest of this week and think about that and um, and see what I decide to do. But um, otherwise, it's going well. Um, I feel really good still and everything is working the way that it should and... I think this weekend I'm probably going to maybe go out and look for some new clothes. I'm not sure, but I'll see. And then, so that's it for today. There's my doggy. How are you? Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we're just kind of hanging out tonight, not really doing much. We're going to start this poster and we'll show you that as we, as we make it. And uh, that's it. So... Hope you all are doing well today, and um, I am doing well, so all is good, and uh, we will be back tomorrow for another video for day 12, and then Saturday I will do my update weigh-in video, so stay tuned for that, and until the next video guys, I hope you're all having a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow, take care, bye!